Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, a regenerating system, a renewing system. It is designed on a divine basis to heal and renew itself moment to moment, day by day, hour to hour, and this healing and regenerating system is really just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, let us show you how easy it can be to wean yourself off your prescription drugs, to wean yourself away from the medical model, to get yourself on a good nutritional supplement program. Our number, 844-236-6010, is open for you, 844-236-6010. We'll get your calls in the bottom of the hour. If you have questions about the longevity products, skincare, skincare formulations, my new treatment products, something you may have read about or heard about on the news. Let us help clear it up for you. Let us help you change your life today. Let us help you change the lives of loved ones today. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. And you can also check out my blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. We update the blogs regularly with news stories and blog posts. Thank you to Robert Lundgren, my webmaster, and Jaunty from Santa Cruz, my new webmaster on criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, welcome to the Bright Side. Once again, we're talking skin health, but not just skin health. Skin health as it relates to the body, using the skin as a icon for the rest of the bodily system. The skin is tremendously responsive to how we live our lives, so it makes an ideal example of how flexible and how, how, uh, how responsive, really, the whole body is. The skin is the most, mm, well, the skin responds as fast as any other system in the body, save perhaps the circulatory system and the nervous system and maybe the digestive system. The skin, the circulation, the nerves, and the digestive system all are re tremendously responsive to how we live our lives. Just something as simple as how we breathe can have a dramatic effect on our circulatory system and our nervous system. You know, deep breathing is one of the best things you could do as you're eating and before you eat. Oxygenation is important for digesting food. And certainly hypoxia or low blood oxygen has a relationship to play in the health of the skin. All of this is to say that we have a tremendous amount of control over our psoriasis, our acne, our eczema, our dry skin, among other skin health issues. Psoriasis and eczema, think digestion, food choices, fatty nutrients, vitamins A, E, and D, as well as your ultimate EFAs, omega-3 fatty acids, and the mineral zinc and selenium. Acne, vitamin A, zinc, food elimination, Watch out for dairy, especially. Probiotics, correct digestive health issues. For dry skin, essential fatty acids, vitamin A, vitamin C. Use digestive enzymes to make sure you're absorbing your vitamin A and your ultimate, uh, ultimate EFAs, your essential fatty acids. Rosacea, not even a skin problem. It's a vascular problem, a blood vessel problem, an immune system problem involving allergies, food intolerances, problems digesting foods. Dermatologist remedy, antibiotics. That's what you'll get if you go to the dermatologist for rosacea. Next time you go to the dermatologist for your rosacea, if you have rosacea, ask him why is he giving you an antibiotic for a vascular condition, for a condition that involves the immune system, the, uh, the circulatory immune system. Now, I'm telling you all this stuff as a skincare chemist, as a compounding pharmacist, as a dermatology educator, 
as a hands-on therapist who has worked in pretty much every aspect of the skincare world. The truth about skincare, and this is the truth about the health of our whole bodies, is we can do it ourselves. Medicine comes from the root or the prefix med, M-E-D, which means middle, as in middleman, as in media, as in Medicaid. All of this has to do with uh, uh, having a, an intermediary between us and what we want to accomplish. It represents an authority as an author. Do we really want someone else authoring our health story, authoring our health biography? Do we really want to abdicate authority over our health, over our lives? The truth is we have way more power and control over our health challenges and our life challenges than we know, than we're told by the middlemen, the medicine men. The truth is we're responsible for us. We're responsible for ourselves, for our well-being, and that is potentially, anyway, good news. But the truth also is for most of us, present company excluded, this is a responsibility that we don't want to take. Whenever we go to, uh, to the doctor, every time we go into the doctor's office to tell the doctor to fix us or tell us what's wrong, this abdication of responsibility is what we're telling the world. This is our confession. We go to the doctor for our colds. We're admitting we don't have control over our bodies. We go to the doctor for our acne. We're basically confessing that we feel like we have no control over our skin or over the skin of our kids. Now, if you're listening to this program, if, you know, you're, I'm not counting you guys, but some of you probably are the same way. If you truly want to be healthy, we have to own our responsibility. Once we own our responsibility, we get access into the divine, divine wisdom that runs our body, into the intelligence of the universe, through the intelligence of our bodies. And really, it's just common sense. If we're less than well in any way, if we're dealing with skin issues, heart issues, autoimmunity, cancer, whatever, skin issues included, first, we need to eliminate whatever is getting into the system that's interfering with the pristine machinery, with the divinely mandated system that heals itself. And that always means foods first, always means foods and digestive issues first. And because medication represents poison, toxicity, that means weaning ourselves off of prescription drugs. I was on uh, Coast to Coast on Monday. I talked about blockers as being a poison substance. And I got a bunch of letters and they want people wanted me to know people wanted to know why I call beta blockers poison medicine. Why I call them poisons. Well, they're poisons literally. Beta blockers means you're blocking something that's happening in the body. You don't block it by being kind and loving to it. You block it by poisoning it. How do you think a blocker works or an inhibitor works or an anti works? They're killing things. And what's more, they're deactivated by the poison control system in the body, in the liver. So when we talk about eliminating toxicity, we're including prescription drugs. And because all degenerative disease, hypertension, arrhythmia, eczema, psoriasis, whatever, clotting blood, inflammatory diseases, these are all preceded by low blood oxygen. It means regular, slow, deep breathing. Simple food control, digestive control, slow, deep breathing. And by the way, all food induces, at least a short term, and some people long term, inflammatory response, depending on what we're eating. We could be eating great. We could be eating spinach. That can induce a, and uh, that's going to induce an inflammatory response. Putting food into the system represents a type of emergency for the body. All food, good food, because something from the outside is getting into the inside, and that's an emergency. The body is like a closed system. Nothing is supposed to get inside it, really, except obviously we have, to, we have to eat and we have to breathe and we have to drink. So there's kind of systems in place to allow us to do these things, but they're not great. They're problematic. Oxygen itself is problematic. That's why the body has evolved so many different enzymes to protect itself from oxygen. Same with food. Food is problematic, big time problematic, not to mention the food that we eat today that is the synthetic franken food that the body has no idea what to do with. But even a potato or a tomato or spinach represents a potential threat to the body and will initiate an, an inflammatory response, a defensive response. That's why fasting is so important. That's why just caloric restriction is one of the most powerful anti-aging, anti-inflammatory strategies you can use. Caloric restriction. And you'll save money on top of everything else. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're coming back with more good health information on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. We'll be back after this. Okay, we 
are back on the bright side. I'm Farm Span, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay. I was watching this thing on uh, Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell was a, some of you guys probably know who Glenn Campbell was, a singer. He had some hits in the 60s and 70s. He was actually a pretty darn good guitar player, as it turns out, and considered one of the, one of the best musicians in, uh, one of the best session musicians in, in Nashville and in Los Angeles. And, and when I was a kid, he was kind of like a little hero of mine. My mom used to like him. My brother used to like him. We used to watch the Glenn Campbell Good Time Hour. And he always struck me as being the icon of health and the icon of wellness. And the, just he, he was a good-looking guy, and uh, he was a great guitar player, great singer, and a celebrity. And I was considered him, when I was a kid, I, anyway, I was considered him to be symbolic of what health and vitality and, uh, and, and just youthful vigor was. Anyway, so I'm watching this thing on Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell's now pushing 80, I think he's 79 years old, and he's got Alzheimer's disease. And he doesn't look anything like he looked 40 years ago or 50 years ago, not that anybody does. But it struck me as being an important, it, it struck me as an important lesson, because what it says is, is that we don't have a lot of time, you guys. You know, if we're screaming about politics and government and complaining about our taxes and the way our realities are structured, our worlds are structured, if we're sitting there complaining about all of that stuff, guess what's slipping by? Our lives. And if we don't pay attention to how our bodies are taking shape now, if we're young, if we're lucky enough to be young, and I'm including anybody up to like 75 or 70 as being young, because even if you're 70, you still have 40 good years, 30 or 40 good years potentially. So that's still pretty young. If we don't pay attention to how our bodies are taking shape, how our physical bodies are taking shape, not to mention our psychological and spiritual and mental and emotional bodies are taking shape, because they're like bodies too. From a physical perspective, if we don't take control now, today, today, it ain't pretty, folks. What's coming up around the corner is not pretty. Now, Alzheimer's disease is an inflammatory disease of the brain. It's a progressive degenerative disease like arthritis. It's arthritis of the brain. It's Parkinson's disease of the brain. You know, Parkinson's disease is, is, is the same thing as Alzheimer's disease, except it's in a different part of the brain. Arthritis is the same way. It's in, in a different part of the body. These are all things that we can address. We can address now. We should address now before we have these things, these degenerative health issues when we're young. But even if we're older, even if we can't reverse completely our disease state because we don't have enough time, we can feel better. We can feel stronger. We can feel more vital. We can have more joie de vivre, joy for life, more creativity, more fun. It ain't fun if you're sick. It ain't fun if you have, God forbid, cancer, or, uh, autoimmune disease, or even if you just have a skin problem. And it's certainly not going to be fun if we end up 60 or 70 or 80 years old and we can't tie our shoes either because we don't understand how to tie our shoes or we can't bend down to, tie, uh, to reach, our, our sho reach our shoelaces. And that is our destiny unless we take control today. And the only thing a medicine can do to prevent that destiny, the only thing a prescription drug can do to prevent us from having that destiny is kill us because it ain't going to make us better. It is not going to make us better. That's all you need to know about your doctor strategies for dealing with chronic degenerative disease. They're not going to make you better. But a hot shower will. Deep breathing on, sitting on the couch and practicing deep breathing, that will make you better. How do you like that? A hot shower will make you better, but your beta blocker drugs and your antihypertensives with all the trillions of dollars of research behind them are not. But sitting on the couch and practicing deep breathing will. That's why I do this program, you guys. This is something that should be so understandable and so common sense and so much so part of our culture that the only reason that it's not is because it's been intentionally marginalized, intentionally made silly. Oh, that's sad. It can't be that simple. We need an MRI. We need a CAT scan. We got to go to a specialist. We need stem cell treatments. We need devices, diagnostics. We need our God, our medical deity. 
or MD. Because health can't be that simple, right? You need to have somebody tell us how to be healthy. Wrong. It is that simple. A hot shower is one of the most powerful antihypertensive strategies you can use. So is deep breathing. If you're on a beta blocker or a calcium channel blocker or any kind of blocker or inhibitor or anti-medicine, get yourself a blood pressure cuff. Take your blood pressure. And then go take a hot shower or a hot bath. And then do another blood pressure reading. What do you think is going to happen? Your blood pressure will have dropped like a stone. Read a, a joke book and read some funny jokes that make you laugh. Your blood pressure will drop like a stone. Get a massage. Practice deep breathing. Your blood pressure will drop like a stone. There's no drug that can do that with... There's drugs that can lower your blood pressure, but there's no drugs that can do that with no toxicity. There's no drugs that can do that where you'll feel better and you're, where you will add to your life expectancy as well as your quality of life. Fasting is one of the best anti-inflammatories you can use. Just fasting. Just not eating. Oh, I can't not eat. I'm going to be tired. No, if you have an inflammatory health issue and you fast, now you've reduced the inflammatory burden on your body, you're going to feel better. If you have acne or eczema or psoriasis, vitamin A is one of the most powerful skin medicines there is. All of these bright side strategies that we're talking about are important for all the systems of the body, but because of the unique responsiveness of the skin and the dynamic nature, it's constantly growing. The skin, uh, skin cells turn themselves over every four to eight weeks. Four weeks when we're young, eight weeks when we're older. And this means that if you have dermatitis and rashes and eczema and dry skin, even psoriasis, which is an autoimmune disease. These things can resolve themselves very quickly, never to be seen again with no drugs. The skin, the most, the, the most uh, inherent quality of the skin, the most built-in quality of the skin is its rapid turnover. When we were running through the African savanna, running through the grasses to find food or whatever we were doing, to, find, uh, to catch an animal or to, or, or to forage or whatever we did in the African savanna, we were getting cut. And when you have a cut and you have a scratch, you better heal because otherwise something's going to get into your blood. So the, the skin has evolved a system of rapid response, rapid healing. It's the most dynamic system in the body in, in terms of repair and regeneration with the possible exception of the digestive system. That's good news. And that's why vitamin A is so important. It's vitamin anabolic. It's vitamin building. We're talking about dry skin. We're talking about moisturizers. I hate that word moisturizer. There's no moisturizer. It's a made-up word, moisturizer. How, what, how is that even going to work? Does anybody understand how you put rub wax and oil and now you're moisturized? If you're going to maintain soft and, and hydrated skin and healthy skin, vitamin A is your secretion-inducing vitamin, 20,000 IU a day. That's a lot. It's not a lot, but that's a, a lot compared to the recommended daily allowance. You don't want to take vitamin A by itself, though. You want to make sure you're using vitamin A with your essential fatty acids. You want to make sure you're taking vitamin A and D, D together or getting some sun. The sun works with the vitamin D and the sun work with vitamin A, vitamin anabolic. All right, got more to say here when we come back from our break. And uh, do have a line open for you, 844-236-6010 is our number. Hang on. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. We are back on the bright side. Farms Ben here. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive page at brightsideben.com. You can find all your favorite longevity products, including the Beyond Tangy Tangerine and the Healthy Start Pack at brightsideben.com. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470 if you're interested in purchasing any of the products or signing up and joining me and my mission to educate the world about the importance and power of a good nutritional supplement program. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Reading from the uh, journal Molecular Nutrition and Food Research, consuming fermented quiche, uh, kimchi, a source of lactobacilli, it's a probiotic, may alter the composition of bacterial populations in the gut and affect metabolic pathways for obese women, says a new study from Korea. Probiotics help you lose weight. Fermented food helps you lose weight. Fermented food helps you get energy. 
Something as simple as eating fermented foods. I'm not talking about Dan and yogurt. Something as simple as getting on a good probiotic supplement. I'm not talking about something you get at Walgreens. The best kinds of uh, fermented foods are going to be fermented vegetables because then you're going to get lots of fiber too. And you'll, you'll get all of the wonderful phyto plant nutrients that are in the vegetables. The bacteria will make them more accessible. Bacteria in the gut are unbelievably important. If I had a magic wand to wave and I could change one thing about health, that's what uh, George Norrie asked me on Monday. He says, uh, if you had one, one thing you could do uh, to improve everybody's health from a physical perspective, well, what would it be? I, would, I said, restore the gut bacteria. It's the key. If you have to do one thing, it's unspeakably important for everything, every system in the body, including losing weight. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Charles in Michigan, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up? Uh, good morning. Thank you for taking my call, Ben. I sure, what's going about, on? I have um, a nutritional deficiency that may be related to some sort of adrenal fatigue. Um, for example, uh, when there's a, a great deal of stress and anxiety, I, I sweat profusely, and the sweat just drips off my body. It doesn't spread out and evaporate. And, and with that dripping, and it's primarily underarm, it's, um, it, there's, a, there's a horrible odor as if I've been moving two refrigerators things. in a hot, humid sun. Okay, you got two things going on. First of all, yes, you have an emergency response, a, a dramatic emergency response, which is telling me that there's some burden on the body, that there's a load. And then the fact that it's, uh, it's profuse and it's also uh, malodorous, I like that word, and profuse, it tells me that the body is eliminating, is using the, the sweat as a route of elimination for toxicity. So both of those are telling me there's a burden on the body, there's toxicity in the body. First things first, for immediate relief, get yourself some Celtic sea salt and start doing uh, maybe a quarter teaspoon in a glass of water and sip on it. The first couple of sips are going to taste unbelievably delicious for you. And then gradually it'll taste less delicious because you're definitely going to be deficient in salt. Probably want to make sure you're using your Mighty 90 Minerals too. Get on the Healthy Star Pack. That's for sure. Make sure you're drinking salt water, and you probably have some digestive health issues going on as well. There's probably something not getting processed correctly. <clears throat> Excuse me. As always, do a food diary and, and an, okay. uh, eliminate problem foods. Do a food diary. Notice the. Re uh, I should probably explain how to do a food diary. Uh, well, I'm, I'll do that later on. I won't, let me get to uh, just my point here. You want to clear the body of toxicity, and you want to calm the body down. Clearing the body of toxicity involves foods, eliminating problem foods, looking for digestive problems, etc., and then also digestive support, and then uh, and then you're also uh, calming the body down. Slow, deep breathing, very helpful. Hot showers, hot baths can be very helpful as well. Uh, massage, uh, uh, meditation, yoga, all of, those, all of these things, muscle relaxation, self-hypnosis, all of these are ways that you can relax the body. Don't marginalize or think those are not important. And then a very good nutritional supplement program like the Healthy Star Pack and include some extra salt and include extra zinc and include extra vitamin C, all of which play a super important role for adrenal health. Well, no, heart palpitations. And, yes, it's um, all connected. It's all, all connected, okay. All related. Heart palpitations are a sign that the electrical conductivity is not, it, there's, is not moving through the heart. The electricity is not moving through the heart as well. The heart's freaking out, basically. And that's a simple way of putting it. I could give you the mechanism. It could have to do with conductivity and microinflammation, et cetera, but your heart's freaking out. It thinks there's an emergency. You've got to tell the body, the heart, the adrenal glands, there's no emergency. You do it by eliminating toxicity, by calming the body down, and by making sure you've got all your Mighty 90 essential nutrients, especially salt, minerals, vitamin C, uh, zinc, and then also magnesium probably too. I take some, uh, well, you get all those in the Healthy Star Pack, but you might want to take a little extra. Okay? Yes, yeah, thank you. Great. All right. Are take you, care, man. One, one more, God, one more sure. question. Did sure. you ever, uh, do you ever go out on the road for a road show where you make personal appearances? Oh, yeah, I do it all the time. I've been doing it for years. Where are you, is Michigan? A, yeah, is there a calendar on your website anywhere? You know, I ha I've been very bad about that. But uh, if you call 866-735-2470, that's the phone team. They, know where, they usually know where I'm at. Great. Well, thank you. Okay, take care, buddy. Bye, Charles. All right, uh, let's see. 844-236-6010 is our number. Cindy, where you been, Cindy? Long time uh -huh. no talk to. Yeah. I, how you doing? Broke, how's, your, uh, how's your health going? Um, I'm still, um, I broke my wrist April 3rd, uh, and I'm finally in a brace. I'm out of cast. How'd you break your wrist? 
Um, I have very bad diabetic neuropathy in my feet oh. all the way up to my calves, and I couldn't tell the difference between the and bathroom you, tile and the carpet. So I'm I telling you. Yeah. And broke it with the wrist. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to get you better, Cindy. And listen, I've been working with you now for a year, I think. Has it been a year? Yeah, just about a year. September just about a year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you're not noticing, I'm, hopis, I'm hoping that you're noticing dramatic results. Because if you're not noticing dramatic results, something's missing. We're doing something wrong here. Because you should be noticing in a year, you should be, no, you could be, a new, you should be or could be a new human being, a new person in a year. If it's still there, stuff is still there, you're missing it. And I'm only saying this to you, Cindy, because you're a representative of a lot of people. Once you accept the premise that the body heals itself, that there's a regenerating system built into it, and that all we do is muck up the works or not muck up the works, then w once we accept that as a premise, then if it's not happening really quickly... And a year is pretty quick. A year is not pretty quick. That's enough time that we should know some seriously dramatic results. Then there's something that we're doing or we're not doing one way or another. But it's in our it's something that we can uh, we can modify it's something that that we have control over. So what's going on? Tell me about uh, tell us a little bit about for the listeners who haven't talked to you. Just just the real basics. And I don't have a lot of time, Cindy. So I All need right. you to get to just the, the real, real basics. basics. Of, yeah. OK, I think the, the psychotropic withdrawal is over with. I'm much better in thinking and connecting thoughts. OK, very nice. Um, I think digestion is better, but I still have problems trying to do the food diary and have Why? the bowel movement um, because you don't have a lot of time. During this whole withdrawal, which happened in 2013, the bowel basically in many ways stopped functioning, and the doctors gave me a lot of medicine to try to make it work, which you helped me stop, okay? Um, but Are I you need, medicated now? Are you on any medicine now? Um, Synthroid and Levomir and Novolog, which are insulin. That's okay. it. Okay. That's stopped. it? I stopped 18 medicines over okay. there, okay? Oh, that's awesome. Now, that's what I want to hear. I want everybody who's listening to this program to just really grok what you just said, to really absorb what you just said. You have 18 medicines in a year. That's what I'm talking about, Cindy. You understand what I'm saying? That's I the do. kind of result. That's the kind of results I'm talking about. So congratulations on that. I, we're going to take a break. but So uh, when we come back, we'll finish up, okay? All right. Thanks, Cindy. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're on hold, hang on. We'll get to you when we come back. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side talking to Cindy in Virginia. So, Cindy, you're off 18 meds in one year. Um, it started August 2013. So about a year and a half, two, almost yeah, two years. Yeah, in April 2014, I finally connected with someone in longevity, and I came off of four with withdrawal in 2013, and then uh, four minus 18 is 14 in a year extra. And That's... a lot of those were. A lot of those were bowel movement constipation. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, you're you're doing great. You're doing awesome. That is very very impressive. So so what's the deal here? What's going on still? All right. This is it. Um, I don't get much sleep at night. I'll get a half an hour an hour or two or three hours at night. I do okay. a lot of micro sleeping, and I've done that since 2013. You wake I, up tired? I, are you good with two or three hours? Or sometimes people are good I'm, with not a lot of sleep. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm tired at times. Sometimes I'm okay, and sometimes I'm can tired. Can you nap in the middle of the day? I have tried doing that, and sometimes yeah. I can sleep. Sometimes I can't. Okay, well, um, it's not the end of the world if you're not... If you nap in the middle of the day and you don't get a lot of sleep, it's not perfect, it's not ideal, but there's worse things. However, if you're waking up in the middle of the night and can't fall back asleep, that's a sign that the body is under, still under duress. You know, think about it this way. If your body feels that its survival is being threatened, it's not going to let you fall asleep. And this, is, this can happen if you wake up in the middle of the night. Sometimes people have a nightmare. They don't realize it or they do realize it and they can't fall back asleep. You get a surge of cortisol and adrenaline and sometimes it'll take you a while. Sometimes you don't even fall back asleep. So if the, it's one or the other. Either you can get by and you can do naps. Otherwise, there's still something going on that's causing some duress. Now, the fact that you're still on the Synthroid tells me that you're not completely out of the woods and you're doing great. Great. And it's very impressive, but you're not completely out of the woods. So keep doing what you're doing. You still might have some, the entrance of some toxicity that's getting into the system. You still might have some, uh, some blood sugar, residual blood sugar problems. And you most certainly might still, still might have some 
uh, a psychological or mental or emotional distress, usually that's associated. And when there's the, usually we get rid of the physical stuff first and then the residual stuff, the mental and the emotional stuff, we'll get rid of the mental, emotional too as well. But there's always going to be some residual mental and emotional that you got to go through. And that's a little bit stickier to work with. If you know what I'm saying, Cindy, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, I do. Cause I have, I've been seeing a biblical counselor during all of that. All of that mentally, is involved. Mentally all- and emotionally or spiritually and mentally or emotionally i'm better than i've ever been in my probably life, so actually. i bet you are i bet I you really are so i bet you are they all go together but there's usually some residual stuff that's a little trickier to work with sometimes and so you might want to examine that um and i don't want to get go out and digress but i will say that those aspects of healing should not be dismissed the spiritual mental and emotional so i know we talk i'm i'm as much of a biochemistry geek as anybody and i love the nutrition side of it but that that always needs to be recognized keep up the good work cindy liquid nutrients watch the diet stabilize blood sugar deep breathing techniques hot water uh, hot showers massages relaxation keep going with the, your biblical counselor and you're doing great okay i'm gonna let, i'm gonna let you go i want to get a couple okay. more in thanks cindy Thank take you. care okay mike in colorado welcome to the bright side what's up mike do we have mike oh there's mike hey mike what's going on man Oh, not much, Ben. Uh, I'll try and be real brief. Uh, 63-year-old Bill, I've had undiagnosed uh, pain in my lower left abdomen, now my whole abdomen. For about nine years, I had... Uh, what do you mean undiagnosed? Uh, you just diagnosed yourself. What are you talking about, undiagnosed? Well, I got, I got a pain, but nobody can tell me what it is. Okay. Uh, here's and, the. Uh, I've had CAT scans, MRIs. All right. Here's the deal with pain. Okay. Yeah. Pain is a sign that the uh, the nerves uh, there's inflammatory tissue around the nerves, and that means there's inflammation in your body. Pain equals inflammation. It's how inflammation is perceived when it affects the nerves. So when you have pain, you have inflammation. When you have inflammation, you have a defensive response. The uh, inflammatory system is how defense shows up. When you have a defensive response, it's all about the blood. This is the key, okay? Mike, I'm glad you brought this up. I want everybody to hear this. When you have an undiagnosed, as you're, as you're calling it, or a, a, a sort of vague or a generalized symptom where it affects your whole body, like chronic fatigue or my, uh, fibromyalgia, when you have these kinds of issues, uh, or pain that you can't figure out, you've got an inflammatory issue, which means you have a defensive issue. When you have a defensive issue, you have a blood issue, because that's really what the defensive response is about, the blood. Are you with me? Yeah, and I just, I just went to the doctor, and he told me I had blood in my stool. Okay, well, that's a little bit different, but that's, that's a little bit different, but there's probably some, di- let me get, let me get to my point here. Dirty okay. blood, dirty blood is what all disease is about. In the Bible, it says the blood is the life, and they weren't kidding. Think about it. Amen. The blood circulates the entire body. Every single one of the hundred trillion cells are united by the blood. So when you have a degenerative disease, when we have immune disease, when we have inflammatory disease, when we have pain, chronic pain, when we have chronic fatigue, when we're sick in any way, we have dirty blood. Doctors call it sepsis, S-E-P-S-I-S. That's the fancy word for it. It means dirty blood. I call it toxemia, toxins in the blood. And it's why we have this epidemic of disease. It's dirty blood. We violated the sanctity of, of the holiest of holies, which is the blood, through food mostly, but through other things too. But food is mostly what it is. Now, blood in the stool tells me you most certainly have a digestive issue, but I could have told you that before. So you've got to focus on the digestive system, Mike. I wouldn't be, with blood in the stool and this kind of pain, I would not eat for a couple of days. Fast. I know it might be a little difficult. You might think it's a little difficult. Uh, whatever, you're going to feel better. It's really the only, that's, uh, that's a must for you at this point. All right? Okay. You'll notice when you start up eating up again, you, first you're going to notice that your pain starts to subside. Okay? That's one okay. of the major things that's going to happen. Now, you, obviously, you have to eat. But so what's going to happen, that when, two days after you eat or after you fast, when you start eating again, you're going to start noticing things. You're going to notice that all of a sudden you eat this kind of food or you eat any food and something's going to happen inside your body that you didn't notice before that was going under the radar. Are you with me? Uh-huh. Are you with me? Yes, yeah, seriously? Because yeah. the very yeah. important. Okay? And then try to eat as kind, be as kind to your body. Eat, eat as gently as possible. Soups, liquids, eat caloric restriction. Don't eat when you don't want. And then patch up the digestive system. 
Probiotics, the bioluminitely essence are a must have. Digestive enzymes will do a, uh, give you two benefits if you use the ultimate enzymes with food. They'll help you digest your food. And if you use the ultimate enzymes on an empty stomach, they'll help with the inflammatory pain. You definitely want to be on the Healthy Star Pack. If you want some quick relief, you might try the CM Cream. But I'm guessing that you've got some, some real st some stuff that's going on inside in terms of the digestive system. The, the digestive yeah. system is how things get into the blood, okay? The blood is a circle. Yeah. It's the circulatory system. Through the digestive system and the respiratory system, and occasionally through the skin, that's how stuff gets in the blood. Now, the vast majority of it is the digestive system. It's all about dirty blood, but the, the blood becomes dirty from the digestive system. That's really where the rubber meets the road, at the intestine, where the food meets the blood. Now, under, yeah. uh, under ideal circumstances, that will all get processed through the stomach and the pancreas and the gallbladder, and the liver. All of these systems are in place to make sure the f stuff gets processed correctly before it gets into the blood. At this rubber meets the road juncture, where the, blood meets the, in where, where the food meets the blood, at the intestine. Over time, that breaks down. The blood becomes septic. It becomes dirty. Toxemia ensues the, because the blood circulates to all the cells of the body. Anything is possible at that point, including and especially circulatory issues, which, oh, by the way, are the number one cause of death and disease and destruction. Why do you think that is? Circulatory health issues, can, uh, heart disease and, and, and hypertension and blood clotting and aneurysms and strokes, et cetera, et cetera, that's the number one way we drop dead. Why? Because our blood is dirty, and I'm including sugar as a component, uh, as part of that dirt. Sugar is worse than dirt. It's a toxin to the blood after a certain amount is in there. This is the key to everything. There's no doctors here. This is not a doctor issue. Am I making sense, Mike? Yes, sir. Okay, so focus, yep. on the di focus on the digestive system. Get on the Mighty 90. Do the, uh, oh, I forgot to mention the uh, Fucoid Z and the Z radical in addition to the ultimate enzymes and the probiotics, the, uh, the bioluminightly essence. Apple cider vinegar after meals can help. Fermented foods can help. There's lots of strategies. And what yeah. what yes? pack did you say? Healthy what Start. Uh, there's a digestive pack. I would do the Healthy Start pack. Then the Z radical or the Fucoid Z, and then uh, the ultimate enzymes. And if you want to throw one more thing in, the glucogel caps, because they're made with, uh, with, with uh, glucosamine that helps stimulate the production of connective tissue, they can have some benefits for building the lining, the intestinal lining. Got to move. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for your call, Mike. And thanks for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're, we'll be back at you tomorrow with more good health information. 844 uh, sorry, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. Bye for now.